All right, so in this video, we're going to copy an angle. So we have our angle, and we're going to try to make a copy of it right here in this blank space. So the first thing we need to do is we've got our angle. We're going to make a, um, a dot here at the end of our angle. And then we're going to draw another line somewhere, oh, probably over here. It can be longer, whatever. I'm not really worried about it with a dot on the end. Okay. And so here's, there's a lot of steps here. It's a very confusing thing. It's not horrible, but it's kind of confusing. So we're going to put our dot right here. Okay. You're going to pick a point that intersects both sides of the angle. And as far away as you can get is best. So we're going to go with this one. So I've intersected both sides of my angle. I'm going to move over here, make that same arc mark, same compass setting on the other line segment I drew. Kind of make that so I can see it. Okay, I'll move that. So then, and I'm going to use the bottom part here, but I'm going to go from, I need to go and measure from the intersection to there to see how wide the opening is, if possible. Okay. So I put that on that intersection point. You can kind of see there that intersection point fairly visible in there. And I need to find where the other intersection point is as close as possible. That one's really close. That one shoots over it. So I guess I'll use this one as closer. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And so then I mark how wide the opening was. So then I'm going to move over here and do the same thing and mark how wide my opening was. So then I have my wide opening. I know that these are the same opening space. So if I connect from the dot to the, that angle, that will give me my congruent angle. And there you go, it's a copy of an angle. Again, this one is fairly difficult. Good luck with it.